Avoid common mistakes. Master inverted first conditional sentences. Hello everyone. Today, we're going to dive into a very interesting aspect of English grammar, specifically, inverted first conditional sentences. The topic might sound a bit complex, but don't worry, we'll break it down and make it easy to understand. We'll also be focusing on the most common mistakes people make while using these sentences, and how you can avoid them. An inverted first conditional sentence is a type of conditional sentence where the if clause and the main clause are reversed or inverted. This means the main clause comes before the if clause. For example, normal first conditional. If it rains, I will stay home. Inverted first conditional. I will stay home if it rains. Now, let's take a look at some of the most common mistakes people make when using inverted first conditional sentences. Mistake 1. Incorrect word order. The most common mistake is incorrect word order. Remember, in an inverted conditional sentence, the main clause comes before the if clause. Wrong. If it rains, I will stay home. Normal first conditional. Right. I will stay home if it rains. Inverted first conditional. Mistake 2. Inappropriate use of commas. Another common mistake is the inappropriate use of commas. When using an inverted first conditional, do not put a comma between the main clause and the if clause. Wrong. I will stay home if it rains. Right. I will stay home if it rains. Mistake 3. Forgetting to use will. Forgetting to use will is another common mistake. Will is used in the main clause to denote future possibility. Without it, the sentence is incorrect. Wrong. I stay home if it rains. Right. I will stay home if it rains. Step 1. Pay attention to word order. Always keep in mind the word order. The main clause comes before the if clause in an inverted first conditional sentence. Step 2. Omit commas. Do not put a comma between the main clause and the if clause in an inverted first conditional sentence. Step 3. Use will properly. Do not forget to use will in the main clause to denote the future possibility. By keeping these steps in mind, you can avoid making common mistakes and become a master of inverted first conditional sentences. And that's it. Now you know the common mistakes in inverted first conditional sentences and how to avoid them. Remember, mastering any aspect of grammar takes practice. So don't be afraid to make mistakes. They're part of the learning process. Keep practicing, and soon enough, using inverted first conditional sentences will be second nature to you. See you in the next lesson. Happy learning!